Hello everyone, it is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next polish review video and of course I'm using two colors that I have yet to use before. One um, of the colors that I'm going to be using is this Butter London polish. This is one that I recently hauled just um, the tw March 20th with the Butter London for the 21 Days of Beauty. It was a beauty steal where they were two for 15. Butter London are normally $15 a piece. This one is called Scuppered, and this is what it looks like. And the color that I am going to pair it with is the Sesh Polish. This one is in the color Magnifique. And I chose this one to go with it because um, the Scuppered Polish has some hints of like a magenta like pink color in it so I wanted to pair those two together kind of give it some contrast and since I did <clears throat> excuse me just did a kind of bright manicure I wanted to do something a little bit different for this one especially considering this one is not necessarily like a summery color so I wanted to try this one and someone requested that I use this one next and so those are the colors that I'm going to be using and um, let me get set up and then I will be right back with the application. Okay, so I am back and this is the finished look that I've done. And I just did the same on both hands, just, I don't know, lack of creativity and um, I don't know. So I just did something simple for the application for both of these polishes and I again forgot and applied top coat on Mother beep. Got a divot. But anyway, I did apply top coat on both polishes. I will say the sash one wasn't, it had like a weird finish. It wasn't necessarily dull, but it wasn't like shiny. But I don't know. So first, let me get into the um, Butter London polish. This is scuppered. I mean, it's this gorgeous, like, bronzy brown with heavy gold shimmer, but also some, like, magenta and then very fine magenta glitter and then some larger pieces of green glitter. So, here is the brush, the formula. It is a very thick formula, which I absolutely love. It doesn't have, like, it's not the widest brush, but it's not bad. It actually applies really great. The brush fans out absolutely perfectly. I love this formula. It goes on smooth. You you do need two coats with the Butter London Scuppered. Actually, both of them require two coats. Um, this one, I think, is just absolutely stunning. Not necessarily like a spring or summer color, but... Um, just a really really nice color overall you can see the gold the magenta slightly I thought it would pick up a little bit more of the magenta which is why I paired it with the magenta color polish but it is still very very stunning I absolutely love this so if you can catch these on sale and you like a very fine glittery polish you should definitely check this out. I mean, it's almost like it's not necessarily... It's it's hard to explain because it's not necessarily like... It goes on as if it's not a glitter. Like, it goes on really, really nicely and easily. Practically no mess because it is much thicker. So you have tons of control with this polish. I absolutely love this. And I'm glad that I picked this one up. So that one, again, is Scuppered by Butter... Mm, excuse me, got a hiccup by Butter London. <laughs> this next color is by Sesh. This is like a magenta with a um, blue duochrome or iridescence to it. Very pretty in the bottom. It is a now the formula seems like it's a little bit thicker because it's not really dropping. But once you get it on to like start painting your nails with it, it just is becomes very thin. And this is the brush. Well, it seems like it's very similar in size to the Sesh, I mean to the Butter London brush. 
it performs much differently. It does not spread out as easy or fan out as easily at the base of the nail. So it was kind of difficult getting really clean, nice clean um, lines at the cuticle. Like I had to actually go in and clean up because one, once you start applying it on the nail, it does, it it's much water, more watery or fluid than what it appears to be. Like it becomes, like it runs quite a bit. So, um, and it's not that I had too much on my brush, but it just becomes a lot more fluid. I don't know if it's the heat of my skin for my neck, just my body heat, but this one was fairly messy. So I had a, quite a bit of cleanup with this one. Um, the brush again does not fan out as well. You have to apply quite a bit of pressure in order to get it to fan out. It's perfect for your like pinky nails. Like if you have small nail beds like this size, then this would be a perfect um, brush for you. But for those of us who have much larger, you know, different nail beds, size nail beds where they're much, much wider, this is... I was kind of annoyed because I felt like I did have to apply more than the normal three stroke because it just didn't fan out as well. And again, it was watery, so it was kind of messy. Um, I did have to do two coats of this one as well. And the finish, it's like a weird finish. It's not matte. It's not high gloss. It's not, I mean, it's just weird. It kind of does have some of those sinful colors polishes dry to some weird finish. Um, but it's not quite as drastic as some of the sinful colors. So this is one I would say you have to wear a top coat with it in order to get this um, nice finish to it. And I will say, while I have been finding that I'm liking some pinks, I've noticed that um, while this is a very pretty color, I feel like for me, I like the brighter neon just really bright pinks better which is weird because I would have thought that I would have preferred this type of pink over any other pink while it is still pretty it just to me uh, it doesn't like it doesn't look bad on my skin tone but I felt like the pink the brighter like really bright bubblegum or neon type pinks I think it really, really just looks a lot better with my skin tone than does this one. While this one doesn't look, it, it's not bad, it's not ugly or anything like that. I just feel like the brighter pinks look a little bit better for my skin tone. That's just my opinion. Um, and again, this is still a beautiful color, but yeah. So not necessarily um, my favorite um not necessarily a favorite of mine. This one is called, again, Magnifique. While it is a pretty color, just not necessarily, I don't think, my cup of tea. Um, and just other issues with the brush and the runniness make this... I mean, it's still a decent, it's still a decent polish, but for me, I like thicker formulas because of the less mess, you have more control. I like brushes that they don't have to be large. I prefer larger brushes or wider brushes, but if it is a smaller brush, I prefer that it fans out easily to allow you to get really nice clean lines. You don't want to apply too much pressure when you're trying to get the brush to fan out because then it creates like a sheer spot right there where the brush where you're applying the pressure with the brush to get it to fan out so nice color not necessarily my particular cup of tea but yeah so that is it what do you think of the two colors which one is your favorite i will have some still pictures so um thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye